Well, it's 2019, and it's been this long since I did my review of War of the Worlds Goliath, and how well it's held up today. <clears throat> you guys remember this movie, I've reviewed it before. It won a lot of awards, including the winner for Best 3D Animated Movie, Best 3D Animated Feature for Sci-Fi, and Best 2D Animation, and also Best Winner of Sound Design. The movie came out in 2012 and was basically loosely based on the H.G. Wells novel. I kind of already covered that, but I will re-upload this new footage with my old review and just kind of splice them together. Not so much to make the video longer, just because the movie itself is really good. There's been my BCMG, MSC. Ping, Mavcap, Tripod, and Anderson Digital did the distribution of the rights. As Dolby Digital Sound, closed captioning, but that's not why we're here. I'm actually watching the film. Sadly, I would love to show you guys the film, but with the way copyright on YouTube is nowadays, I don't want to get in trouble. But take my word for it, if you haven't checked it out, at least try, find it somewhere on whatever website as i said before you can choose hulu netflix amazon netflix probably doesn't have it anymore but amazon might if it doesn't make you pay for it but well this will be the end for now world's goliath is loosely based off of the um hg wells book war of the worlds in this movie, it's a more of a steampunk slash mecha action movie. This movie was actually made in Malaysia. It has a, well, a very big voice cast. And you also notice Nikola Tesla and Theodore Roosevelt. Historical leaders make their appearance in the movie as well as the beginnings of World War I. And the Martians launch their second wave against Earth. I've also included some... Drawing is concept art of the uh, various things that are in the movie, including all the steam-powered aircraft and mecha. Well, the movie is mainly based off of the name of the, bah, the war mecha that Wells commands called Goliath. So, hopefully you guys check this one out if it's still on Netflix, Hulu, or any other streaming service. If not, try to get your hands on a copy. Thanks. I mentioned before that the character is named Wells, but his name is actually Eric Wells rather than H.G. Wells, but eh, that still doesn't hurt the movie too bad. It's a fictional piece that only borrows slightly from the novel. In the actual novel, Wells predicted poison gas, germ warfare, machine guns, and other uh, things going on. Which would not wouldn't make widespread use until World War One, so he kind of predicted the First World War. But as for anything else, ray guns and stuff don't well, ray guns don't exist. You can make uh, a electromagnetic gun, kind of like from Fallout, but that is pretty much it. Movie's still good though. I also forgot to mention that Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron, makes it into this movie as well. Kind of an interesting nod to the some of the heroes of World War One. Theodore Roosevelt, as I already mentioned, made an appearance, and so did Nikola Tesla. And for the first time, this is kind of different, but men and women actually serve together in this movie. Technically, that didn't happen in World War One. the women actually went to the factory, similar to what they did in World War Two, to help out for the war effort, where unless you, they were being nurses. But, for work of fiction, what can I say? But, that'll be all for this next attempt of the video. I'm just trying to add more content for this video, because this is kind of a re-review with, spliced in with my old footage.